So continuing the theme of this season with some racing on ITV on Sunday, bringing you the three best bets from Goodwood. Kickstarting in the uh, Philly handicap over a mile and a half at 150. The one I really like here is Ice Sprite, trained by William Haggis. She's been a bit of a revelation since uh, handicapping this season. She's won both her starts in handicap company, including when overcoming a positional bias at Windsor last time out. She won with a bit in hand that day and has only gone up six pounds in the weights. Her handicap mark is now uh, 84. She got a time form rating of 92p. Just looking at her pedigree as well, it would be no surprise if she did end up a pattern class affiliate at some stage. Um, she's a lovely big uh, imposing chestnut and uh, just looking at, she's only against four rivals and I think she'd probably take all the beating again here. Urban Artist won at Windsor um, on just her second flat start. Looked to still be sort of learning on the job. Um, but she's quite a long stride in Philly. I'm not sure the undulations of Goodwood are particularly going to suit her. And then the remaining three in the field, Alemania, Point in Time and Margaret Dumont, I think they all want a, a stiffer test than this ideally. Um, although it could become attritional in the grounds, they probably want a mile six and further. So... I think ice sprites could be quite difficult to beat in the in the 150. Our second selection will come in at three o'clock, the man and the quarter handicap for three-year-olds. I'm going to take a chance on the Charlie Appleby trained native tribe who uh, got back on track last time after a gelding operation when second at Sandown. He did lug left in the straight that day on, on good to firm ground. I'd, I'd be slightly inclined to put that down to the fact that was the quickest ground he'd encountered to date. He's got quite a pronounced knee action, so the return to easier ground here should suit. Um, and he also beat <clears throat> Dubai Mirage uh, at Sandown last season. Dubai Mirage is now rated 97. Native Tribes rated 88. His, his marks still stayed the same from Sandown. Connections have reached for blinkers, so potentially they maybe feel that it was more than the ground last time, but I'd still think that it, potentially that was the reason why he hung right. Rosa Gold is uh, probably a danger. She's been um, also another one of these fillies that's a revelation since some handicapping. She's she's three from three in handicaps, but her mark uh, initially was 55. She's now off 85. This just looks a lot tougher than what she was um, competing in in the likes of Chepstow. It's good to laugh. She'll be more suited to the, the easier surface than what he got at Sandown last time, but he's likely to be taken on for the lead by overright. An overwriter would have major doubts about him staying a mile two. Um, he was five lengths clear in a mile and one handicap at the Boris uh, Goodwood Festival and failed to see that out. So I don't think he'll stay. Fiji's run to a similar level on all three starts. Just doesn't look to be improving massively. It looks to be on about the right mark. So I thought Native Tribe would be the one to be on in the three o'clock. And then finally, the 335, the Supreme Stakes, over seven furlongs, group three contest. Um, sticking with the Charlie Appleby trained runner here as well in, in Dubai, who was six in the Lennox Stakes at the Boris Goodwood meeting last time out. That was a creditable effort. I think a repeat of that will probably be good enough to win this as well. He holds both Happy Power and Snazzy Jazzy um, on form at Haydock when they all raced against each other in July. Uh, Dubai actually hit the front that day and then I told he was probably value for extra than the official margin suggested. Happy Power then went and won a, a minor event at Salisbury uh, but I do think he'll struggle to beat Dubai and Snazzy Jazzy didn't really travel with any fluency at Haydock um, although running on late so I think he holds the, the key to this race to buy. Um, Escobar did beat him in the Lennox but as we saw it Ascot on Champions Day last year, he's probably best suited to a big field and a strong pace. He wasn't seen to best effect in the city of York uh, last weekend, but then Cloak of Spirits ran at Deauville. Um, she had quite a grueling race only 15 days ago, and even though she was second in the Guineas to Love, she needs to improve on, on ratings to challenge the principles here. So Dubai will probably be my strongest of the three. And uh, hopefully one or two um, winners along the way for Sunday's wrestling on ITV.